Hi scientists. All right, so we are doing the energy summative test proof of practice together. So after you watch this video, you are gonna be asked a couple of questions on this Google form, and then you will be able to submit that form, and then it will take you to the bit.ly link to retake the test. So we're gonna talk about our eight types of energy, then we'll talk about energy transformations. So our word bank has all of our energies. So let's think about which type of energy is the best type for a light bulb. Think, think, think. And you are hopefully thinking light energy because it is a light bulb, right? All right, next we have a cord plugged in. Think about anything that is always plugged in. Which one do we have? We don't have light anymore, but now we have seven more. Think. Hopefully you've got electrical. Anything that is plugged in is electrical. Next up, we have a car driving straight. Here's my keyword, straight. So we have to think to ourselves, which one of these six? I know it can't be sound, probably not thermal, there's no battery, so we have to figure out the difference between potential, kinetic, and mechanical. Remember, mechanical is when it has both kinetic and potential at the same time. Potential is when it has height but is not moving, and kinetic is moving in a straight line. So hopefully you thought to yourself, this must be kinetic energy. We have the top of a roller coaster hill. If it's at the very top, there's a split second where it's not moving. So if we go back and look at which type of energy, hopefully you've got potential in your brain. It's at the top and it's not moving for a split second. So we have chemical, sound, thermal, and mechanical left. All right. This one says a ball rolling in the middle of a hill. So if it's rolling, I know that it's moving. If it's in the middle of a hill, I know it also has height. So we need to think about which ones up here are when it's moving and has height. Hopefully you've thought to yourself that's mechanical. All right, fire. Ooh, a fire with not a very good picture. Fire. Is fire chemical, sound, or thermal? Mostly, it is thermal. Yelling. Which one is yelling? Yelling, yelling, yelling. We either have chemical or sound left. Hopefully you know that that one is sound. And last but not least, you have a battery. And we know that battery and food are both chemical. All right, that is it for the first part of our review of proof of practice. So from here, you're going to ask answer a couple of questions on this Google form, and then we'll come back and go over energy transformations. See you then.